Hey everyone. We want to do a giveaway. And the way this giveaway is going to work is very simple. Number one, you have to be a subscriber to the channel. Number two, comment. Uh, you can comment on one video or all the videos. That's up to you. But the comment is going to be selected by my family and myself. And it's going to be selected off of either being the most humorous comment or the most inspirational comment of all the comments on our channel videos. What's going to happen, or when it's going to be chosen, is when we reach 5,000 subscribers, which is not very far away. How we're going to reveal it is basically we will select the comment. The next video after our 5,000 subscribers, we will make a special video just for you and say why we liked your comment the most and why we selected it. And then we will have you reach out to us to inform us of where we need to send the shirts to. You're going to also need to tell us the size of the shirts and which shirts you want. All the shirts that you're going to have to choose from are below in our merch store. So start subscribing if you haven't already and start commenting. Good morning everyone. As you can see it is very gloomy out today and it is going to rain here mm, probably an hour maybe two hours so what i want to do is i want to hook up the batwing brush hog and i want to at least knock down the barnyard because i need to smooth all that dirt out and it's kind of hard to see where the low spots are with the grass as tall as it is and then the other thing i'd like to do is before it rains this down here um the very the bottom here is uh, it's not a marsh i guess but it's kind of like it it has a all this water up here all flows down there well anyways it all it levels out a little bit on there so it goes from a very narrow path from like a ditch like it is up here down here it gets very broad and uh you can kind of see where the grasses are different I can't ever, I, we're very hard to get in there to be able to brush hog and we like to brush hog that and, and kind of make it to where it'll dry out a little better. It keeps their feet much drier. So we want to get that to where it will dry out easier and quicker when it rains. Um, we haven't figured out a good drainage solution for it yet, but we want to make sure it's usable pasture. Um, the bat wing is right here. So we need to move, oh, need to move the drone. Be step one. I already moved most everything else. I use a little tractor, the 50-20, we'll use it. We'll move the uh, box blade and then we'll be ready to go. I'll probably actually get it out with the 50-20 because it's easier to maneuver. And then, uh, I think I'm just gonna bring it out here and we'll hook it up in the new barn. That, that seems like a much better plan, actually. Let's do that. Put you guys on time lapse, I think. Minor change in plans. I am going to <coughs> flip my PTO around here. This track, this is a 540 PTO right here when it's on this side. Oh, probably can't see it. So that's the 540 side. Now, what I can do is I can take these bolts. Which is very simple as you can see. Take those bolts out. All we have to do now, we'll grab the PTO itself, take it, spin it, put it back. And then we'll line up our holes here, which I think we're actually pretty well aligned. Or not. Now we're good. So now we'll put the bolts back but they'll actually go on the inside ring because that's our thousand PTO side. So basically it'll spin the PTO shaft faster on the inside ring. Um, I've actually had to, I had to take it apart one time because my, 
the bearing back, or not the bear, sorry, the, the seal was bad. Well, one of the seals was bad. And uh, so anyways, we took it apart, flipped it around, and uh, we were good to go. these back on. I don't crank them down crazy tight because they don't really need it. This is there to hold this on. You'll know if it's starting to come off. You'll feel a vibration. And if you feel a vibration and it's not from the... And you can see it's not from the drive line on the implement that you're running. It's a pretty good indication that you're going to have something going on with the PTO itself.
this is all, mostly weeds. There's a little bit of grass that came back, a little bit of clover. So like right there is a good batch of clover that came back. But most of it's just random weeds that we don't want. Because again, that one weed is gonna turn into three million weeds in no time. And we try to, we do what we can to not spray, but all the, a lot of the ground that we bought, just, it needs to be sprayed because if, if you don't brush hog, you don't do stuff like that to maintain, the weeds get out of hand real quick. And a lot of it's to a point where we can't control it anymore. We can't do anything to stop it, and there's so much of it there that we need to get rid of it. Uh, but just so you guys can see, that's what that's the biggest benefit to brush hogging, is weed control. So, we're going to start. I'll let you guys see a little bit. And then after that, oh, probably tighten this. I'll let you all see a little bit and then I'll put you on time lapse. Or maybe I'll do a, uh, well, the millennial, call, the millennial farmer calls a montage. Maybe I'll do that. because the grass, the more blade it has there, the more grass it's gonna grow. The other thing is, is that we don't want our animals eating down. If they eat below four inches, that's where they start getting parasites and we don't want that. So that's why we keep it to where they're not eating that low. So now here's a little comparison to show you how much lower this is gonna cut. Pretty good. Apparently our 
pond is leaking. I wasn't aware of that. Come on. Hang on. Sharon, I'm a passenger. Right straight to there. You got like 15 feet, go. You there? back there it's pretty obvious where that mud is so liquidy right there our pond this bank right here is clearly leaking because it hasn't rained in a long time like the last time we got measurable rain was it's, it's the end of June now somewhere in the beginning of June I think was last measurable May or me measurable rain Beginning of June or late May, one of the two. But, oh well. because I'm gonna quit while I'm ahead. I mean, technically I'm still behind because I've got to replace a turnbuckle on the uh, on one of these wings. Oh, shoot. Let me set this down. Well, actually I'll show you this part first. That belongs on there. See how there's only one? Should be two like this. Can't win them all. Uh, but the other part I need to replace I'll have to put this down to kind of show you
Oh. So the other part is this turnbuckle. Uh, I broke it. Well, I don't know if I broke it or if I just lost a piece. Nope, we broke it. It's in there. Can't have nothing nice. So I gotta figure out how to unthread that. I'll figure something. I'll probably just weld something to it. But long story short, actually, this is what it looks like. So this is what it should look like right here. Just a short piece of thread um, that we ran through there and then used a nut to tighten against it to get our desired result. And they work very well. The original ones are much heavier, but they, you can see that the hole on here, no, you can't really see right there, but this hole is a little bit oblong. It's been worn over years of use and it's got to a point where the other one, uh, you couldn't shorten it enough to make it to where it was putting the wings up level with the main deck. So, well, like I said, that's going to be it for today. Uh, we've, we've done enough for one day. We're going to call it a day. If you haven't seen this already and you're new to the channel, go check out the videos for the build on this barn. My wife and I did this 100% on our, well, 98% on our own. We had help with this truss, this truss, and this truss, and the purlings that went between it. And we also had help with the very end truss um, from a neighbor. But the three trusses right here, we had help with some good friends of ours, uh, Dominic and Julita. So thank you guys for your help. We do appreciate it. But like I said, that's going to be it. Have a blessed week, and we'll see you next time. By the way, normally we would just keep going and I would fix those things today and do it, but I'm just exhausted. Chrissy and I have been working our tail off on that barn. So.